another total topic of wars. Would you prefer to go to the movies to watch Flip of the Dolphin the movie length? Or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? And Keon Louie handled that one with that. Of course, I'll flip of the dolphin, flip up, flip up, because his wife would never approve of him going to see Chainsaw Massacre anything. So again, he's shifted the theme from his own volition to a third party, his wife. Now, if I could say that the topic for the first half, there shall be one, and it will actually be, could you kill to eat? Now, this is the plan that the VPE has given me, only one table topic. But, by telling you it now, it is no longer a table topic. It's actually a semi-impromptu table topic. You've got the chance to mull it over. Table topics are actually impromptu. They're not through the process of Ah, oh, yes, I could take it in that direction, in that direction. Oh, let me think about that. No preparation. No preparation. Total topics, they are completely impromptu. So why don't we call them impromptu speeches? Well, my theory is because we don't want to scare people off. Because if it's true, people would prefer to be the one in the coffin than the one giving the eulogy at the funeral, because more people are scared of public speaking than of death then, of course, it's going to be petrified of impromptu speaking. So, the beauty of impromptu speaking, speaking, though, is that it does make you a better conversationalist socially when you're out. It grows you that way. And it also makes you better in a formal interview panel forum. In a panel where you are asked very tricky questions, questions you might not want to answer. But this practicing of your table topics in Toastmasters is actually training you to handle tricky questions. A lot of people start out very timid about table topics. We all do. When you're presented with the table topic, they say, and the table topic goes. And the table topic goes to. Bill Roden. Yes, you can. We will stand and present that table topic. Go to a situation where, and we've probably all seen this also. You present the table topic, and you suddenly notice spines become straight, and eyes light up. You've seen it. You know, the pupils become dilated. Like this, and, oh, oh, yeah. and the table topic goes to pick me, pick me, sir. So you can go from timid to absolutely keen, and everyone can do that through table topics. Now, although they are completely impromptu, it is possible to actually prepare for table topics. How can you prepare for table topics impromptu? I have some ideas. Firstly, listen to other people. Listen to how they present. In whatever segment it is, prepared speech or warm-up or a table topic speech, just critically try and work out what they're doing. Uh, another approach is to set yourself table topics. I find myself doing this subconsciously all the time. I could be walking down the street thinking, thinking about politics. I might be thinking, how can the commission of water through one side of the mouth pontificate that imposing a deficit tax upon the public will devastate the economy and yet the lifting of the freeze of the fuel excise will do nothing to the economy. The hypocrisy is breathtaking, Mr. Table Topics Master. Now, I find myself thinking about politics or thinking about the weather or thinking about something domestic. I might be thinking, the steak has been sitting out for a while. I do think it would match uniquely with the vegetables and the beans I had in mind, and the crumb banana will constitute an appropriately palatable dessert. Mr. Toastmaster, no. Maybe not exactly, but you know what I mean. The idea is you set yourself a question and you answer it in a formal way, as if it's a table topic. 
it's great practice. There are other ideas I have listed there. There is a handout and it's got bullet point forms. You don't get it to the end of the meeting. One of the points is to just relax the shoulders and breathe. You will think more clearly then. When you present a table topic, don't start with the table topic. We heard the table topic. Please don't repeat the table topic. Most importantly, have some beginning formulated. Something to introduce your presentation, and all the time while you're presenting your table topic, you are formulating how you're going to finish it. See, a table topic is not a prepared speech, but as a speech, it has a structure. So if you have some introduction, there might be some theme involved with it, and the conclusion should wind back. Don't be afraid to pause and regather your thoughts, and of course, just enjoy it. There are other technical ways to approach giving a table topic, but my colleague Trevor is going to discuss that more in the second half. I am going to segue more towards evaluation of table topics, which does involve preparation work. And where's my pen? Where's my pen? So, um, oh, oh no, I have a spare. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much, Desiree. Always good to have a spare, because if someone always wants to eat your lunch. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> so, why do I have the pen in my hand? It's for the reason that you might notice whenever I'm doing any kind of evaluation, I start writing immediately. People are probably thinking, well, what's he writing? Is he already got an impression of the speaker? I am actually writing for Barton the first thing that the speaker says and noting any non verbal communications. It's very important to get the introduction down. And you'll find that I'm doing the same thing at the conclusion of the speech. In fact, I'm not just writing my own ideas. Because I write a lot, I am largely writing down what the speaker is basically saying. Why am I doing this? Not necessarily to quote it all, but as a memory jogger and as a, a prompt, a form of prodding me to get ideas. So it jogs my memory and it gives me ideas about analysis. I do, of course, write side notes all along the way as I'm doing this. It's important to jot down the use of language that really stands out, such as the gardens are glowing resplendently with a kaleidoscope of colour. Something that stands out. Jot it down. Stand out nonverbal communication, any way that they particularly use their head or their body movements, particularly something unique, something you haven't seen before. Anything you notice in terms of irony or some metaphor that they're using, a particular theme or message that you hear, and humour, because you will be praising their humour, it's probably the hardest thing to come up with in any conversation. Analyze their eye contact. Did you feel included in their presentation? Write down what the conclusion was and decide whether it worked in with, gelled with the theme or the structure of the speech itself. And of course, try and think of a point for improvement. It's common practice to, for some table topics, not think of a point for improvement because it was just too good. Well, I like to think of something for everyone. So if you can't think of a point for improvement for something, perhaps you could offer them a suggestion for exploration in a future direction. Well, I would love to see Jesse give a full length speech on the cultural history of cats. Something to guide them along their way. And when I write down these points for improvement or suggestions, I use a different colour. You'll find I write things in red also. When it comes to the presentation of table topics evaluation, as it's some kind of speech, it too must have structure. I like to kick off the table topics evaluation with some brief praising. So a one-line suggestion on what the speech was basically about. You must flatter and then offer suggestions. So offer all the ideas that came to mind 
that were positive about the speaker and then move towards some kind of point for improvement. I remember one person from Advanced Club I was evaluating her total topic. She was so good I couldn't think of anything. My point for improvement was stay away from plants. Don't take up gardening and stay away from plants because that's what the speech was about. She was just a plant killer. So I just <laughs> Yeah, wasn't good. So you think of something. Table topics isn't actually official as far as contest level goes. It's really only done in club. So you can play with it. But you've got to remember that you've got to stick to the tight 30 seconds to 45 seconds. After all, the presentation is only around the order of 90 seconds. So depending who's speaking and what the presentation is like, you can be hard on or you can be soft. You're only answerable to the general evaluator, after all, when you think about it, or the parliamentarian, as it were. And so, essentially, a rule of thumb is don't offend. You can take it your own way. That will conclude my ideas on presenting a table topic and evaluating a table topic. And these notes, don't worry, they're in bullet point form and you get them at the end of the meeting. Next one.